Anyway, the quote is, the rush to battle is often a potent and lethal addiction. And for war is a drug. And this is a quote by a gentleman named Chris Hedges. He is a New York Times journalist, Pulitzer Prize winning. And he wrote a book called War is a Force That Gives Us Meaning. And this particular psychology, which he begins to describe in this book, is also the psychology that Mark observed when he was a journalist embedded with the um, Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team in Baghdad, in Iraq, in 2003 and 4. And this is a particular psychology that describes a volunteer, a volunteer soldier who actually chooses to go to this conflict and cho chooses this chooses this particular situation and he describes that there's a kind of attraction to that choice and I thought that was very important psychology that began to underline the character in the script that the great script that Mark wrote. I think there's both a tragedy, I think there's a great 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 tragedy to all war and I think this war is no exception but at the same time my interest was to give this conflict a human face and to enable an audience to actually experience what a soldier experiences based on all first-hand observation that Mark brought back from Iraq. And so that was what was important to me. And I think that there's accuracy and truth and, and realism that underscores all the images. Well, first of all, there's actually very limited television footage. I think this is a war that the is certainly in my country, is ex extremely underreported. So that was another reason to pursue it. And um, I, I have to say also, just a quick side note, that our sound designer was Swedish, is Swedish, Paul Ottesen, and he's an extraordinary sound designer. So that's just to go back to the home paper, perhaps. Well, I would have to say that certainly where I live, we don't have that much visual knowledge. There's not a lot of material available to us. In fact, just recently there was an article in the New York Times that cited that there had been obviously over 4,000 soldiers who've been killed in combat in Iraq and on less than half a dozen photographs have been published. And this is a an front page article maybe three weeks ago. And the, the journalist proposed that this might be a result of some kind of censorship, an opportunity to sort of shut down information about the war. So my feeling was this is a very topical, topical film about an underreported war. And so my interest was to bring that information to the audience, especially since the information was based on first-hand observation. So I felt that there was a tremendous amount of truth and honesty there. I think that um, there's a kind of potentially a lure and a kind of attracted attraction to peak experience. I think it happens in combat, it happens in mountain climbing and people who choose to be, I don't know, para jumpers, et cetera. So there's a there's a there's a, a kind of attraction to peak experience and and that is complicated by an economy that um, provides very few opportunities, and this is one opportunity. So it's a confluence of many, many, many things. Also, there's a report um, by the Pentagon, actually, that 250, this is a few years ago, 250,000 pounds of ordnance or cash was stolen at the beginning of the invasion, and they broke it out into the possibility of how many IEDs could be created. And they realized that that amount of ordinance would enable IEDs to be set every single day for 274 years. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of futility, I think, in this conflict out there. And you know, I think that's an important thing to be aware of and to understand. There's a realism. I mean, it's, it's not meant to be a stylized um, 
piece that is overly aestheticized. It's meant to be as graphic and real and immediate as possible. And um, almost kind of like a, a true fiction, documentary fiction. And, and I think that's the style that are, I believe that that's the style that's absolutely right for this story and this material. <laughs>